uh hey guys so in the previous video we understood about what is class what is object and all the stuff so right now in this video we will take a look at the basic uh, take a look at the basic game loop uh, then we will set our player with meaningful variables uh, along with the player's introduction uh, and then we will take a look at the access modifiers concept as well so right now i'm just clearing the code so i don't need the attack function right now i'm just also clearing this placeholder c out so i just want to uncomment it game story so i guess that should be it so yeah uh, so guys we will set up the basic game loop now so for setting up the game loop uh, i will be using do while loop uh, i hope you know what is a do while loop uh so i'm just setting up the while as well with the semicolon okay i'm just typing it true as of now i will set up the conditions later so i want game story to be displayed first okay so game story will get displayed after that inside do i want to have a one statement of press s to start the game so i'm just pressing uh, i'm just writing press s to start the game and while i am also i need one variable to store the input of the player as well right so i need character and i am naming it as a user input okay after that i will take this input in c in uh, user input so i'm just going bit fast because you have already covered these concepts so c out and c in so i have taken up the user input so what i will do so in inside while i am i will write user input is equal to is double equal to capital s or user input is double equal to small s we need to perform these operations okay so what i am saying here is keep on repeating this thing uh, until i am pressing the s okay so what i want here is i will also create one if statement and i will use this condition again if user input is double equal to s or small s then only create the object okay then only create the object else just end the game okay so i will write something as c out thanks for playing letho okay so inside do while loop i am continuously checking if user input is yes then i will keep on asking it uh, even after finishing of the game uh, do you want to continue do you want to play the game again or not and as soon as like user input something else i will also mention it here plus s to start the game and any other key to exit let's quickly test it out this setup our basic game loop it's time for the testing yeah so let's uh, let's quickly test out our quick setup of the game loop i'm just running the code yeah here you can see uh, letho a true warrior our game story is coming first and then there is a console message press s to start the game and any other key actually it should be or uh, but yeah i am just i will quickly fix that grammatical error but yeah or any other key to exit okay so i am pressing s so let's see what happens so my game will keep on playing the same loop again and again and again and again okay again again so this is how it should work and if i am pressing something called as y or something thanks for playing letho okay this is what i want so i am creating the object but i haven't written anything in the players constructor so let's quickly set up the players variable those are also called as uh, data 
members or member function uh, member variables as well so i want health in my player i am setting it to 100 so i am making everything private here again we will take a look at what is private what is public in this uh, video itself so int health okay i want also damage but i want a randomized damage okay so there will be a specific range for maximum damage and minimum damage okay so attack i would say max damage int max damage i will give the range of 30 to 20 so max damage will be 30 and int min damage of my player will be 20 same goes for like i want to give the special ability of healing myself as well same i would love to give the maximum healing and minimum healing as well so again i will write max healing and minimum healing so i'm i'm declaring these variables for the randomization uh, you can you can keep it same as well uh, you can keep keep the constant variables as well but i'm i'm preferring the randomization so min damage max damage uh, min damage min healing max healing i will change the numbers a bit for the better game design max healing will be 15 and i would say minimum healing will be around 8 so 8 to 15 uh, in the range of 8 to 15 my player will heal that is what i want so who will give these numbers ideally game designers will give you these numbers but right now i am also a designer and i am also a developer okay so i guess player variables are all set so what i will do i will create a quick introduction of the player inside our constructor so i'm just i will just pause the video i will just write some um, write some c out statements of the introduction and I, I and i will come hey guys welcome back so i have just written some introduction like i want to say the princess and all the stuff connecting with this story basically uh, and here you can see like i have just used a simple c out statements to access my health minimum damage maximum damage minimum healing maximum healing so what i am telling here is for the constructor inside constructor is so whenever the object is getting created i want my player to introduce himself as simple as that this is the logic that i have written so i have used constructor for the introduction okay so what is the expected behavior as soon as i am pressing s the player's object will get created and then this introduction will pop up so let's quickly test this out let's see how it goes so rather than just blank output now uh, when i press s uh, you will see the introduction of the player okay i am pressing s and i am pressing enter so here you can see uh, hey my name is letho and all the stuff letho's health is 100 letho's attack range is between 20 to 30 and i guess there is typo i need to end i need to use the end line here to start with the new line okay i will quickly fix that so after this okay not after this after this i'm just closing this out quickly so this is how you can quickly debug your code as well so not a worry end line so after the healing range i want to end the line so that this line will again get populated in the new line okay so yeah i guess our basic game loop is ready so i guess we covered let's quickly oh we return like we return tons of lines of code right so yeah that's a really good sign so basic game loop is done setting up the player variables and players intro is also done and now it's time for the access modifiers okay so inside class inside class of player i have written something called as private and i have written something called as public so these are nothing but the access modifiers as the name suggests, uh, there will be some things which are private to you, right? That you don't want to share with anybody. Uh, as same as that, every class will have some things private that class no, class don't want to share those with anybody. Same goes for like the public things. Uh, obviously, you will be having some public things uh, that can be your profile, your job profile, that you are fine sharing with everybody else. Uh, that might be your name as well. You, you are fine sharing with your name, uh, sharing your name with everybody, right? But you are not fine sharing with your phone number or like some personal details or something, PAN card number, obviously, right? So these will be private things to you. Exactly comparing th these terminologies to the class, class will have some private things and some public things. These things will uh, these things are not accessible outside the class of the player and if i am writing something called as int example variable suppose like public variable i will say public 
वेरिएबल इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड ओके आई एम क्रिएटिंग अ पब्लिक वेरिएबल अंडर द पब्लिक एक्सेस मॉडिफायर सो एज आई टोल्ड वॉट एवर यू आर राइटिंग बिलो द पब्लिक द सी प्लस प्लस विल कंसिडर इट एज अ पब्लिक ओके यू डोंट नीड टू अगेन एंड अगेन राइट पब्लिक 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 फॉर ऑल द थिंग्स यू जस्ट ओनली हैव टू डिक्लेयर इट वंस एंड वॉट एवर यू डिक्लेयर बिलो दिस लाइन नंबर थर्टी फोर ऑल विल बिकम पब्लिक सेम गोज फॉर प्राइवेट ओके इफ यू आर राइटिंग प्राइवेट हियर एंड वॉट एवर दीज आर द लाइन्स दीज आर द वेरिएबल्स दीज आर द फंक्शनैलिटीज विल बिकम प्राइवेट ओनली सो लेट्स लेट्स ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट वॉट डू आई मीन बाय आउटसाइड लाइक नो वन कैन एक्सेस दीज वेरिएबल्स आउटसाइड एंड दिस वेरिएबल इज ऑल्सो एक्सेबल आउटसाइड ओके वॉट डू आई मीन बाय दैट सो आई एम कमिंग बैक to my player object so here we have created the object i am just clearing out this comment so right now we have a object we need to understand to access anything of the class we need to use player object okay as simple as that you do not you cannot access anything uh, uh, unless you have a object of the class okay so suppose i want to access a health okay how can i access that let's try player object dot health if i'm saying this here you can see mm, can i yeah health is a private member of a player compiler is giving me a error by saying health is a private member but as soon as i am replacing this health with a public variable okay this public variable obviously this expression is not making sense i will simply say c out and access the variable okay and i will say yeah right now this expression is like getting fulfilled so here you can see there are no errors okay but as soon as i am i am repeating uh, i am just using the health variable again uh, the same error will occur by saying okay health is a private uh, private uh, member of a player okay as simple as that this is a simple concept private functions variables you cannot access outside the class what is outside the class this is the scope of the class this is where scope of the class is getting finished so that if you observe i can access health here i can access min damage here max damage here and everything here because this is nothing but the scope of the class i am using all those variables all those functions inside the class that is allowed but as soon as this scope is getting finished and i am entering into the main and if i want to access the health the compiler is giving me error the same concept will apply for the methods as well okay i will create a void public method again the name of the variable and name of the function you can write anything okay i'm just i'm just giving the dummy names here okay i am just writing a public function here and access uh, hey i am public function okay as simple as that and i am using and l here and just like public function i am writing a private function under the access modifier of a private i am just changing its name and i am calling it as a private function and i am also changing the message of it as well so let's try to access the functions just like variables right so we have a player okay so for accessing functions you don't you don't need any expression you just need object and uh, player object dot public function okay here you can see the compiler will not give us any error and if i run the code i will quickly stop and i will quickly run it again mm yeah i am pressing s so first player introduction will come here you can see this is the player introduction and here you can see hey i am a public function this is also getting printed that means i am accessing this public function here you can see uh, this public function definition is like like this but right now i am accessing this public function outside of the player's class okay uh, from the main and you just simply cannot write member functions like this here you can see without the use of the player's object you cannot access in uh, cannot cannot access member functions or member variables you have to use player object and you have to use dot and after that you can access anything which is public inside the class okay obviously if you try to access the private variable private function 
actually it will not also auto populate but if you are hard coding it as a private function and want to test then compiler will say private function is a private member of a player okay this is what is meant by access modifiers what is the use of the access modifiers i have already explained it to you there are some things that class uh, has to maintain as a private and there are some things uh, that class has to maintain as a public there are several reasons why we need to make some things as private and why we need uh, we need some things as a public okay that might be too deep into code readability flexibility and efficiency as well like removing uh, reducing the number of bugs and all the stuff uh, there are lots of good practices bad practices associated with these access modifiers but we don't we are not jumping into too deep uh, into those concepts but you need to understand what is the private and what is the public and how it differs how the public variable and public function will differ and how a private function and a private variable will differ i'm just i just cleared those dummy functions and variables as of now and till now here you can see i am also clearing this dummy call and yeah our game is like slowly uh, like slowly starting to shape uh, and yeah like that should be it. I guess we covered access modifiers as well. Uh, see you in the next chapter. Thanks a lot.